Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luca and I'm so happy to have you on today's video because we have something in common. We both like to travel. If you're watching this video, you probably have an interest in expanding your horizons. Let me just tell you, if you clicked on this video and you don't even know why or you just, a small part of you has this interest to travel to a new place but you may be a little bit scared or you're not sure whether you should do it or not, 100% hands down, do it. At the end, I'm going to give you guys all of my favorite things that I did in Rome if you are curious about like what the best things to do in Rome are because I was there for a month and I definitely have like my favorite spots and things like that. So let's just get into the video. But before we do, make sure you are subscribed. I post a new video every Sunday and I'm going to start posting more during the summer. So make sure you are subscribed with your post notifications on. Okay, so if you are not familiar with the experience that I did, I went with a company called EF and EF is a independent um, company it is not with my school or anything like that and I basically just stayed in a B&B &B, which was like a hotel I did that for five weeks in total I was doing Italian lessons every day but I did the intensive course option I will say I'm very happy with my EF experience and I'm going to link more information about it down below if you would like to learn about it the first thing that I'm talking gonna talk about is money everything you need to know about the expenses most places do take a credit card which is very helpful they also have Apple pay however it is really important that you have cash because if for some reason a place doesn't have a credit card machine then it can be helpful to carry cash with you as well also before you leave is very important that if you have a credit card that you notify your your bank that you are going out of the country so they don't flag you for or like credit card fraud. You may be thinking, how do I save money? Because obviously studying abroad can be and is very expensive. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth every single penny. And I would just strongly encourage you guys, like even if you have a doubt in your mind that maybe you can't afford it, there are ways that you can like spend less money and like really budget your money. For example, I think one of the easiest things is just don't go out to like eat every for every single meal, you know, pick up a like to go salad from somewhere or like a panini. Try to look for those local places and not like the restaurants that are near like super touristy places. The next thing is making friends. How did I make friends? And was it scary? The answer is, you know what? Everything is scary in life. If if it's a new experience, it's going to be scary and you're you're just gonna have to push past your comfort zone. I know some people out there are natural social butterflies and for them, it's not a problem. But for me, I'm not like a social butterfly. No, I'm wearing a butterfly. But I do just try my best. Like I try to talk to people and this experience really helped me with getting over my fear of making friends because I'm definitely more of an introvert. So pushing myself to talk to people is something that this trip has taught me and realize that everyone's in the same position. And at EF, it was so easy to make friends. Everyone who was there already shared the commonality of being in Italy, liking Italy, which is a huge passion of mine. So many other like-minded people. It's really nice when you are not used to that. Also, people use WhatsApp because you know, texting is just more complicated because of SMS charges and whatnot. So also don't be afraid to talk to the locals and just make friends. Even if you don't speak Italian, a lot of people do speak English and it can be nice to know like a few local people, whether it's like talking to the person in the coffee shop or like your waiter. The second thing I want to talk about, which is kind of big, navigation. Italy is great for a little, so many reasons. I love Italy. Transportation in general is just not their forte. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's very nice to have like trams, buses, taxis available at the tip of your fingertips, tip of your finger, the tip of your fingers. However, the trams never arrive on time. Like the buses, you could be standing there for a solid 30 minutes or it could just never come. So it's not very reliable. It's always going to be there for you if you need it. However, know like that you're probably going to give yourself a pretty generous amount of time to get anywhere because the buses just go on their own time. If you want to order a taxi, this is applicable in Rome. I don't know about other places, but there's an app called Free Now and it's basically like Uber. They don't have Uber in Italy, unfortunately, but it's basically Basically like Uber but with taxis it's pretty expensive taking the bus is much cheaper because you just get like a bus ticket or you can get a monthly bus pass um, buy those at the beginning of the month by the way but if you are in a pickle in your buses are not functioning at the hour that you are at if you are out with your friends 
and you need a ride home, then that's a good option. Also, the scooters there. Take advantage of the scooters, please. Like, if you ever get tired of walking, just take a bird or a lime scooter because they are so cheap and it will save you a lot of pain if you are in pain walking because you get blisters because you're walking everywhere. I'm just flashing back to the number of times I was on a scooter. It really saved me. If you're standing waiting for a bus, you have to hail it if there's not other people at the bus stop. You have to say, bus, I am here because they will drive past you. Good to know. Also, press the button if you want to make a stop. You will know when you get there. Please just don't get incoherently drunk because it makes getting home, not from my experience, because I don't like being that drunk, but I have seen people who are so ubriacissimo, very drunk, that they can't navigate themselves home and that is so dangerous. So please just take it easy on the alcohol because it can be pretty dangerous, especially at night when the trams stop working. I think after 12 the trams just stop have a game plan you feel me someone told me a tip that is go to places where you hear Italian people speaking because that means it is local if you see any people that look like American don't eat there if you want to pay separately if you're with a group of people it's usually possible they don't prefer to do it but they will do it if you walk inside it's a lot easier because then you can just pay at the cash register tipping isn't expected because they have a coperto and it's the tip it is already included on your bill. Water and bread isn't free so um, I know you can get really dehyd dehydrated in the summer heat in Italy but just keep in mind that like it can add up if they keep bringing you bottles of water it's not free. If you're wondering grocery stores are small that is the one thing that I miss like my Trader Joe's, my Whole Foods, my Target they don't have any of that there and their grocery stores are probably the size of like tiny boutiques. Talking. If you make a mistake and you're talking to an Italian in a big city chances are they're just going to switch to speaking English which for me was kind of a pet peeve but I know that they're just trying to be helpful and it all comes from good intent but it's just frustrating when you're trying to learn and they just kind of like switch to English and you're like no but I want to learn I'm trying to make the effort also if you don't have many resources to learn Italian for example I don't have like an Italian class at my college so I didn't I had to learn Italian by myself before I came there and apps like obviously do a lingo but there's also an app called hello talk that is really helpful it's like just texting with foreigners and also there's this app where you can have like a tutoring session which I used a lot I found an amazing tutor at like a great price I forgot the name of the app but I'm going to insert it on this screen now and finally for talking just don't be embarrassed to make mistakes you're just gonna get better each time you make a mistake so think about it in that way like making mistakes are actually good because that's how you're gonna learn now on two helpful things to bring Give this video a thumbs up if these tips are helpful. I tried to fit like everything I knew in this video So it's a little long. Hopefully you're still sticking with me, but definitely a portable charger You're gonna be using your phone all day and your battery's gonna die a converter because at least if you live in the US You don't have the same type of outlets So you want a converter for your chargers a portable fan because it gets hot in the summer if you're going in the summer a Water bottle also take advantage of the water fountains in Rome because it's completely potable and actually really refreshing and I miss that so much. Why don't we have that here in the US? It was so helpful. Medication, snacks for the plane, comfy shoes. If you're going in the summertime, pack clothes that don't have sleeves if you're comfortable wearing that because you will sweat through all of your clothes. It is so very hot. Okay, gyms. This is the one thing I, it's probably my least favorite thing about Rome. The gyms there are super small and very expensive and I just didn't find Find a gym that was worth paying for. I'm talking for a month, it was like 100 euro. During all my vlogs, I tried to capture all of the ways that I was trying to stay healthy. It can be hard, just make sure you're easier on yourself because it's vacation in a way. Sometimes you just gotta prioritize other things in life. But I didn't really gain weight because I was walking everywhere. I think I averaged like seven miles a day walking. So I was still really active. So just don't feel bad about eating and indulging yourself in and the culture and their food because you're gonna burn it off walking everywhere. Okay, number seven, if you guys aren't familiar with me, hello, nice to meet you. I am Tesca 
vegetarian. I do eat fish. I will show all of my favorite restaurants for vegan slash vegetarians on the screen here. So you can pause it if you are vegan slash vegetarian. The culture. Some people may get a bit of a culture shock when you go to a country. It's normal. So I can give you my experience. But I'd already been to Italy, so I didn't get much of a culture shock. But lifestyle is a little bit slower in Italy, in my opinion. And that's something that was so refreshing to me because here in America, it is just grind, 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 nonstop. And it can be very stressful. But in Italy, you see people at coffee shops not working, but enjoying their friend's company, just talking for hours and hours. For them, eating is like a experience. It's not rushed. And most of the time, you're gonna be spending about like two or three hours at a restaurant. Try to indulge yourself in that slower paced lifestyle because I think it can be very beautiful. And also the thing that I learned is they are very conservative. I don't have the most conservative clothing options. I definitely felt a lot of eyes on me, especially from men. It made me a little bit uncomfortable at some point, especially in churches, be respectful to that. But I'm just saying like even everyday life, most people, even if it's pretty hot outside, I would say most Italians will be wearing like jeans or just like something that will cover. Definitely took me by surprise because I mean, I wouldn't consider myself to be like super revealing, but to them, I think yes. I was. <laughs> Don't pay more than $5 for an Aperol spritz, please. Unless it's a mind-blowing location, I get that. But $5, Aperol spritz, perfect. Also, phone plans, you can buy a SIM card, which is probably the most affordable option instead of your carrier charging money, like $10, I think it was for me each day. Just get a whole entire new SIM card and then use that for the duration of your stay. Okay, now on to my favorite things that I did, because I feel like, come on, that's like the most important thing to know is like what to do there, how to live the, the Italian experience to the fullest. My personal favorite thing was just exploring. I loved walking everywhere and always being visually entertained by what was going on around me. Like I personally think Rome is one of the coolest cities in the world. You see all of these like ancient architecture all around you and then you're like, oh my gosh, like it makes me feel so special to be immersed in something that was here for so long. It's just truly amazing. Gardino degli Aranci, I believe, was my favorite park. You guys need to go there at sunset. My second favorite thing wasn't a destination, but it was the connections I made. I'm just so thankful that I had the experience and like the conversations I had, I think are the most priceless thing. They can teach you so much about yourself. I will never forget it. Every day I just was very excited to come to class. It was never a task for me and I am very thankful that I had the opportunity to do such a wonderful program. Also really enjoyed having structure because I love structure and it's something that I deeply, deeply miss because of quarantine and just like having somewhere to go, having people to see every day. Okay, and then my favorite areas of Rome was Trastevere, where I stayed, but more specifically kind of the end of Trastevere before the bridge, before you're crossing into the city. It's where all the bars are. It's where the cool kids, the cool teenagers of Rome <laughs> go. Also, Castel San Angelo. I think that those like the bridge before Castel San Angelo is very pretty. Obviously, the coffee there. Cappuccinos I miss so much. And last but not least, the hospitality of the people and the kindness that everyone showed to me. That was it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm so glad I could I could share like what I learned and my experiences and I 10 out of 10 again recommend you guys like if you have a little bit of interest start planning now even if it's not something that's feasible at the moment for you plan 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 enjoy life and I love you guys so much I'll see you in my next video bye Mwah. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out, yeah Bust me down a whip, bitch, I don't do this for no clout, hey I got so much back, I think